Good day, my farming friends. How the heck are you today? Welcome back to Rustic Acres. I am in a blue tractor, man. I'm in a blue tractor, finishing up some uh, spraying in the rain. Yeah, it just started to come down. I was hoping to get this field done, but I don't know. I only got a couple passes left. But as you can see, yeah, we we uh, we we went loose. We we broke we broke the bank. We uh, decided for ourselves that a nice four tractor up at Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery and Repair. Hey, I remember the name. Uh, had this for sale and we picked it up. 102000 bucks. We had to borrow some more money from the bank. Farmer T and I are out there spraying. Believe it or not, Nicholson Farm actually also found us a identical sprayer like this. We bought a second one and ironically, consecutive serial numbers too. So, Farmer T is out doing some spraying. I am out doing some spraying. Sophie is in bed sleeping. She, I, I, I tell you what, she, she did it. She went out dancing last night. So she is a little bit tucker this morning, and I hope I hope she's not worn out. I mean, for crying out loud, that wouldn't be good. But yeah, so she's in bed. It's you know, hey, if you have your mind set on dancing, I suppose that's just one of those things that you um, you need to do. You know what I mean, Vern? So that's okay. That's okay. Hey, whatever makes Sophie happy makes me happy. I tell you. Um, so dancing's her thing. Go for it. But anyway, we we have. I oh crap! I gotta gotta engage a tractor here. But the thing I like about this Ford tractor is it's got um, auto steer. That sometimes works. Now, there it goes. Uh, on it. So this is GPS in our farm here. Holy buckets. We are um, we're going nuts here, but this is working actually pretty good. Rain is just it's sprinkling. So I hope I can get this done. Like I said, I only got one more pass there to go. I think Farmer T is wrapped up. He's back at the farm. But, yeah, came back from um, Selmer's up there down in the valley. We got our cotton in the ground. We worked hard that day. We worked extremely hard that day. So we're sitting actually pretty good. You know, up here on the hillside, it, it's it's raining. I mean, rain for a couple days. I mean, we're getting a lot of moisture, which is good for the crops. But I'm not getting a lot of stuff done, and I'm still worried about Field 41 over there that um, we're not going to get our cotton in the ground. But we still have time. We still have time. So looking at the menu, the sad, sad part is, uh, we are now up to a loan at the bank at the at the Ag Financial Services for two hundred and seventy thousand bucks. So that's kind of crappy, but there is good news. There is good news, my friends. We, I, I tell you, we have been inundated with fertilizing requests, spraying requests. So it's almost like we have like a separate side business, the uh, Min Agricultural Services. So I don't know. Um, it's profitable. It, it it really is profitable. It is actually making us some um, decent amount of money. And as soon as I finish this contract. I will collect all the ones that uh, Farmer T and I have done today. So we were up about 5 o'clock this morning getting things um, situated. I was I called Nicholson uh, last night. I think I woke him up. He, he was taking a little nap. And uh, I, I woke him up and I said, hey, buddy, I want that Ford tractor. Adrian told me that I had to buy this Ford tractor. So I need to buy it. And he had it up and ready for me this morning about 5 o'clock. And I went and picked it up and came out and did some spraying since then. Oh, I'm going to have a little extra. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just leave that little strip. Oh, I thought I had this all planned out perfectly. Maybe not. Maybe not. So, yeah, this is a nice tractor. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's it's, it's clean. Nicholson Farm did an awesome job getting this thing ready, I tell you. Um, you betcha. I even got a cassette player, man. I am, you know, if it only had an 8-track. If it had an 8-track, man, I would be set. That would be just awesome. I, I, I would love that. But anyways, let's get to the end of the row here. I'll check the contracts and see how much money we made with all our fertilizing contracts we did. There's a couple more that I could do, but, you know, the rain is starting to come down here, so I don't know. You know, farmers, they don't like you to be out there spraying in the rain. Fertilizer is not so bad because it'll just wash into the soil, but, you know, like if you were spraying a herbicide or something, uh, pesticide, fungicide, that would be good because, then you know, it's, there's a thing called rain fast. Rain fast, each chemical has a rain fast, and how long it needs to be before it can rain. Um, you know, like Roundup is only an hour, 45 minutes, two hours. But others, you know, might have a three, four, five, six hour rain fast. So that wouldn't be very good. But fertilizer, it's okay. Hey, Wiper, you're going nuts. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to go back and do this last little pass here, ain't I? Oh, man. Well, let's see. Let's let's, let's check the screen. Um, hey, look at that. We might, we might be okay. Completed. Awesome. I am on field, man, field 27, right here. 8,785 bucks for this contract. So, if we collect all these contracts, 
Now we're up to 118,887 bucks. That is, I tell you what, this contract work is um, is very beneficial. I only have 491 uh, liters of liquid fertilizer left in this uh, fancy, fancy, dancy, handsome sprayer here. Um, there, there are a couple contracts. Other than that, I don't know. I don't know what else to do this morning in the rain. Now it's just start. Now it's really coming down. So I probably, um, I probably should stay away from the spraying here for a while. Our animals are all taken care of. I've been looking around trying to find some more horses for us to um, board, but I, I haven't been able to. I suppose what I should do is go to my online app here. Let's see, we have a hundred. Let's see, what else do we need really? Uh, the only thing that I was trying to save up for was the uh, a new planter. Being that I think that we have the three cotton fields down in the down in the valley and the one up here, I would like to invest in a planter. But we don't, we really can wait until the next planting season with that. I think that would be okay because we really don't need it now. It's going to sit in the shed for a while. We do have the one cotton field 41 to get done. Um, which, if it doesn't if it doesn't rain too much today this afternoon, I mean the sun's supposed to come out this afternoon. Um, I could let's see let's let's check the forecast here. Um, no. Today. Oh, look at that. Sophie's calling me. Oh, I'll ignore it. I'll ignore it. I don't know what. She's probably needs something. Breakfast from McDonald's. Uh, yeah, later this afternoon is supposed to <laughs> quit for a little bit and then rain again. Yeah, I think we'll have to wait until tomorrow, Monday, and then we can get um, we can get the uh, cotton in the ground because we're, st we're still okay in the planting window for cotton. I'm just afraid that it's just getting later and later and later that it wouldn't be very good. Um, I'm going to get back to the farm. I'm going to check with Sophie. I better call her back. You know, if I don't call her back, then she really gets ornery, you know. Um, yeah, I'll get back to the farm. We'll kind of figure out what we're doing, but we made some money on uh, contract work. That's, I tell you what, we have made a fortune on contract work. I, I would like to keep going, but it's a darn rain. Unless we go down into the valley. We could go back down to the valley, take this tractor and the sprayer, head down there, and see if we need to do some fertilization on our crops down there. That might be an option. Um, otherwise... We can just uh, take the rest of the day off and then wait till tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, that might just be an option for us. I, you know, it's only the first day of summer. Oh, yeah, it is the first day of summer today. Hey, welcome to the first day of summer. I forgot about that, too. So that's not too shabby, but I'm going to show you this tractor here. Uh, it is a dandy. Uh, just pull into the beautiful farm of Rustic Acres. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to pull in the shed because I might leave this hooked up in case we head down to the valley with it. But we'll just pull in here out of the rain. Uh, Farmer T has got the other one parked back there, so he's doing a good job. Uh, that's awesome. Turn that off there. There we go. Yeah, the Ford 5640 with uh, row crop tires on there. Look at that puppy. That is an awesome, awesome tractor. Adrian was Adrian was wise in that choice. Um, we went with this one because of the of the row crop tires. They had a couple other Fords up there that were pretty darn nice, but we couldn't put uh, couldn't find a set of row crop tires for them, so we put that in there. But yeah, that, that's that's a beauty. That is a beauty, my friends. I love it. Absolutely love it. So other than that, man, I don't know. Um, let's just take a quick gander at our... Oh, thank you very much for saving. I appreciate that. At our uh, satellite view of our crops. Let's see. Growth. Look at that. I tell you what. The um, hemp and the oats have taken off. They are just um, doing real well. Real well. Down here, our clover and our grass are doing real well as well. Well, well, everything's well. Um, our fertilization, we, we have to get another shot on soybeans, and I was kind of hoping to get that done. But now it's really coming down. Man, it, and the wind's picked up. Look at that. The flag is just flying in the air there. So, first day of summer, kind of a crappy wet one. Kind of a crappy wet one. And if I remember right, we have a lot of spraying to do down in the valley. I don't know if I should take off and head down there. Maybe I'll call Selmer and see what the weather is down there, if it's rain or anything. And if it's not, we could probably head down with, well, that depends on if we've had some emergence yet or not. And I don't think we probably have had any emergence because we just planted it not too long ago, the last day of spring. But uh, I'll give him a shout and see what Sophie needs, breakfast probably, and uh, make a game, game plan from there. But anyways, hey, thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great one. Uh, the weekend is here. Enjoy it and uh, have fun. Come on, Sophie. Let's go for crying out loud, woman. I, I tell you what, you know, she'll be late for her own darn funeral for crying out loud. And shut the door. Let's go. You wanted to do this. Let's go. Oh, boy. I tell you. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining cats and dogs. I called Selmer, and he said, yeah, it's raining cats and dogs. I said, well, don't step in a poodle. 
but it is pouring buckets down in the valley. It's pouring buckets here. So Sophie had this brilliant idea as I stand here and get wet that uh, we should spend some money. So we went up to Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery Repair and he had this uh, Chevy Duramax uh, with, with a uh, flatbed on it for sale. So we bought that. I thought, hey, you know, uh, we'll be traveling a lot between here and um, the valley down there by Summers. We got to have a pickup. So we bought a pickup. Well, you know, it's nice. It's a Chevy. Uh, Chevy Ford, you know, sometimes you just got to go with one. Sometimes you got to go with the other. And then we bought a small little Lemkin uh, subsoiler. So we have that hooked up to the Ford and the planter on our big Tex trailer. And we are gonna head up to the hills. We're gonna actually head to uh, Mark Twain National Forest here, about an hour away from here, not too far. And come on, Sophie. I tell you what, that woman, uh, I'll swing around here and pick her up. But it's an interesting thing. Sophie had an uncle uh, named uh, Jethro, and he had a little cabin up in the uh, National Forest up there. And one day he was down to the county fair and riding the Tilt-A-Whirl thing. You know that little thing that he goes around in circles and makes you sick? Man, I gotta tell you a story. Um, I was on one long time ago when I was at hockey camp. Goalie school, actually. And I was on there with a the kid, and the kid threw up right in the middle of it. I mean, flying. He had puke flying everywhere. Oh, it was terrible. Anyways, so he was on this Tilt-A-Whirl at the county fair. And uh, by himself, just, you know, he just went down there. An old guy went down there and... Uh, and kind of just uh, rolled the wide. So he was riding the tooth of the world, and the thing broke off and went flying, and he landed in this big tub of cotton candy making machine and drowned in cotton candy. It was terrible. So, uh, anyways, he has this place up there, and, and the family kind of inherited uh, Sophie and her uh, siblings, and nobody really wants it. I mean, it's just, it's just up in the hills. And uh, Sophie thought, you know what? We should have a little place to get, a little getaway place. And, um, you know, and we can maybe get some greenhouses and maybe just do some stuff. And she wants to plant corn. So, Sophie is buying this, um, come on, Sophie. Sophie is buying this place for us, using some of her um, inheritance and then also some of her dancing money. She must make a lot more dancing than, than, I, than I realize. So, we're going to go up there, and I brought the tractor and the plow because um, we're thinking that, hey, let's put some corn up there in the hills, and that'll be kind of good. We'll put some sweet corn up there and some dent corn, um, but that'll be okay. So, come on. Oh, Sophie, I tell you what, man, it's just, it, it drives you up a wall. But we're gonna head up there, and I'll show you the little place up there. It's 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 I've, it's it's nice. I mean, it's it needs a lot of work, but that's what we're here for. And being that it's raining, um, can't really do anything here, and uh, can't go down in the valley. So we thought we'd go up there, spend the night, and maybe do some work. And uh, who knows? Who knows what will happen? But as soon as she gets up, oh, I tell you, it gets in here. We will um, head up there, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Well, that was a good trip down here, I tell you what. Uh, the rain quit not too far from here. I had to stop and uh, redo our load there <laughs> once. But okay, Sophie is past... The s oh, man, she's snoring for crying out loud, but look at that. Coming down here in the Mark Twain National Forest. Oh, car! Ooh, I gotta watch out. Sorry about that car. I'm kind of paying attention to the scenery. Yeah, beautiful coming down the hill here. Absolutely beautiful. Load is still on there. We got the tractor. I tell you what, this is working out. This is working out perfect. I'm beginning, oh, stay on the lane. I'm beginning to really like this. Um, nice area up here. It's a good break from the uh, farmland down where we're from. Man, I'm all over the road. Good thing there's no cops coming by. I'd be busted in a heartbeat. Come on, stay in the, oh man, I, I really, ah, it's terrible driving, terrible driving. Sophie's snoring is distracting me, but um, it's all good, let's see. I think we gotta turn, um, turn right here. I'm going to go try to find the place, get unloaded. Um, I will have to come down to the shop, introduce myself, and... Whoa, holy gee! Look at that. Look at that. Just kept going. Well, wait till I see you again. Crying out loud, I tell you what. People up here in the mountains. Um, must be all the moonshine. Probably drinking a lot of moonshine. That's what I'm thinking. But it's okay. It's all good. Look at that Chevy. Not even a dent on the Chevy. Perfect. But then again, my driving is nothing to brag about either. Anyways, coming to town here, like I said, I'm going to have to get up there, get unloaded. Sophie got some groceries in our storage boxes here in her bed and um, get unpacked, kind of get settled in for the night. We, yeah, we're going we to head back tomorrow because we have things to, um, look at that, people out about in the boat. Ah, very nice. I'll um, wait for the uh, pedestrians here. Look at that. Texas, uh, Texas Roadhouse? Texas Grill? I don't know, Texas Roadhouse. Nice area down, I tell you what, it's, it's, it's a really nice area. It's kind of a tourist attraction area. You can, oh, look out, lady, coming through. 
Ooh, stop, stop and shop. Okay, I'll have to get, hit that up. Got a Shell gas station. That's kind of nice. Ooh, look at that nice water tower. Very nice. Oh, there's a dealership. Uh, I'm going to have to stop in there to get a few things. The Yarn Barn. Oh, look at that, the Yarn Barn. Can't go wrong in the Yarn Barn, I tell you. There's a Mickey D's around here somewhere. Church. Oh, look at all the church goers. That's good. Good, good church goers. Um, I thought there was a Mickey D's. I could have used a McChicken with cheese sandwich. But, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out here. Let's see. Now I want to go... I think I want to go left here. Yeah, I want to go left here. Got to go left here. This is... Uh, what street is this? This is um, Dewey Avenue. Dewey Avenue. Yep, Dewey Avenue. That's right. Dewey Avenue and um, Main Avenue. Yeah, I got to go left on Main Avenue up the hill. And it should be up there not too um, not too far from here now. Like I said, we'll get unloaded. Sophie. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, car, where are you going? My bad. Beep, beep. I got to pay more attention. So, so, Sophie's sleeping so bad she fell over onto the floor. I mean, it's terrible. Uh, come on, Sophie. Get off the floor. We're here. Anyways, it's one of those things. What are those things? 55 miles an hour. I don't even know if I can get to 55 miles an hour. Um, let's see. Up the hill. Crops look good around this area, I tell you. Mountain farming. I, you know, I kind of like mountain farming. I really, really do. Let's see. Through the trees, through the river. Oh, tractor crossing. That's nice. I like to see that tractor crossing. Wait, is this it here? Um, this must be it here. I think I almost went right by it. Come on. Make it Yui in here. Come on, Chevy. The Chevy drove pretty nice up here, I got to tell you. Um, really, really nice. It, it, uh, it worked out well. Oh, yeah, here we are. Um, Jethro's Cabin. Sophie, we're here. I tell you what, nice little place up here. A lot of grass, so that's why I brought the uh, tractor and the plow. I'm going to uh, undo the ramps here I'm at. There we go. Oh, I get on stretch my legs. Yep. Not too bad of a place. Could use a little fix it up, touch up. Right along the road there. I don't know if I like that too much, but... Um, yeah, he's got a lot of grassland here. A lot, a lot of options to do. I, I just don't know. I, I mean, I think the property goes way back there. And then he has some grasslands across the road here. Let's go take a gander. That's what I'm thinking could be a future cornfield. Um, let's see. I think there's a down here. According to the plat map, the plat book that I was looking at. Whoa, geez. Look at that guy. Uh, scared me. Scared me. Uh, hey, cow crossing. You got a tractor crossing. You got a cow crossing. That is awesome stuff. But, uh, oh, yeah, here's the back entrance through the yard there. So, um, a lot of options here. A lot of options. We have options. But, um, yeah, right up this hill here. So, this is his grass here. He's got some grass here, grass over there, and grass around the corner. So, I'm thinking, uh, I think I'll probably start off with this one here. I got to get the uh, Ford out and the Lemkin uh, plow. And we will do some uh, plowing here. And maybe even get some corn on it. A little hillside corn. How can you go wrong with that? I like hillside corn. I'm going to run up the hill. I'm going to get a little jog in. See the sights from up here. Boy, this is nice. Oh, boy, look at that. Down over the uh, National Forest. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see. How far does this go up here? I don't know where this road goes. Like I say, I should almost get like a side-by-side -side kind of thing. And I could really do some cruising around here and check the sights. Oh, fence posts. Look at that. Suspended fence posts. That's not good. That's not good. Boy, they didn't really didn't uh, measure those length through it. Holy, the sunflower field up here. Nice. Uh, what? No, we don't own a sunflower field. Do we? Sophie, we own a sunflower field, for crying out loud. How do we own a sunflower field? We, we don't own a sunflower field. Um, unless it's the same parcel. Maybe I have to look up. Look, maybe Jethro had that rented out to somebody, but I, I didn't remember owning it. Um, a sunflower field. Let's look, let's look at the map. There it is. There it is. This is the uh, Mark Twain National Forest here. Pretty nice. Oh, we're, oh, we do. Look at that, we do. Um, Jethro's property was right up here in the corner. Here's the farmyard. There's the house. So we have a nice big farmyard. It's all grass. And then these, uh, these three grass fields. I didn't realize that we had a, um, that we had a uh, sunflower field. That is interesting. Uh, I don't know nothing about sunflowers, but maybe it must be rented out to somebody. Yeah, they must be coming in here to harvest it. Um, because all it is is grass fields. Yeah. So this is kind of nice. I, I mean, this is a great view up here. Absolutely splendid view. I have no idea where how far this road goes back here. Let's just, um, I'll just keep walking. That's why I need a side-by-side, -side, man. If I had a side-by-side, -side, I could cruise. Oh, it goes this way then. Okay, so he must be up here. i, I got to get back to Sophie. She's probably opened the door and fell off into the ground. But, um, oh, yeah, look at that beautiful. What is that thing over there? I'll have to check that out. Um... Harold, hey Harold Fleming. Harold Fleming owns us. He must, he must farm these sunflowers here, because uh, Sophie didn't know anything about sunflowers. Thought it was all grass, but um, we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna get back down to the house. 
make sure Sophie's okay, didn't hit her head, and um, we'll get the tractor unloaded. Probably uh, start plowing right away, and then maybe um, Sophie can take over for a little bit, and then I'll uh, go down to the dealership and pick up some, or uh, I can buy some corn seed to fill the planter, and we can uh, start planting some corn here. It's kind of what Sophie wanted to do. So what Sophie says, I do, my friends. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of a steep little trip down back down the hill. This seems to be going pretty well. I'm actually getting a, um, a heck of a start on this grass field, I tell you. The only problem is, um, what? My tractor just quit. Did you just hear? The tractor just quit. There's no way into this darn field. <laughs> it's fenced all the way around. Um, but I did talk to a, um, a local. I went down to the store, or I called down to the store earlier and met and uh, talked to the guy. His name is Deegs that runs the store down there. And uh, he introduced me to um, a company called Buck's Tree Service. So they're going to come and cut some trees down and make a little entrance for me. Man, I had a heck of a time getting this tractor in here. I had to, um, heck, I had to drive through the woods practically. But, as you can see, we, uh, Sophie, you know what I like about Sophie? She has no problem with me spending money. I tell you what, some women, they would just have a conniption if you spent all this kind of money. But uh, I did. I had to borrow another $10,000 from the bank, too. Eh, yeah, I know. I bought some stuff down at the store. De Deegs talked me into it. He had some um, good quality used stuff for me, dare, dare, Den. And so I um, I did that. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to park this here. There we go. Um, here's what's going on. I go down to the store and get a few things. Like I said, I got to get an entrance in here for crying out loud. I have to jump the barbed wire fence. Ooh, oh, yeah. There we go. Um, get that figured out. But I got a good start. Sophie's going to take over for me for a little bit. And uh, we'll try to get this, um, at least get this one done. Year one, we can do this one here. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. That's going gonna, gonna to be a lot. Um, but what I did when I was talking to Deegs down at the store, he introduced me to a, um, a local guy named Kerbo. And uh, he's got some uh, farming that he needs done. and Because, you know, the word is getting around that we are uh, big time... Uh, agricultural services guys down there in uh, rustic acres so we got some contracts four contracts actually so i'm gonna make some money back doing this and so wait where am i going um oh there we are here we are i uh, just took a little loop around that's kind of nice so i gotta get the truck get down to the dealership and pick up the few things that i bought i bought a tractor i bought a tractor and i brought a uh, backpack sprayer a uh, three-point sprayer so i gotta pick up that up and i got some seeds i got some corn seeds some pioneer corn seed to go into that field with the trusty old planter here. So let's head down to the dealership, see if we can find our way down there and um, pick up our stuff. I'm kind of excited about this. I, you know, another tractor. Man, I'm getting, I'm having a problem with buying all these tractors for crying out loud. I have more tractors than I don't have to do with. Pretty soon I'm going to have more tractors than Nicholson Farm Shop Machinery and Repair, I tell you. But it's nice. And that one will stay up here. We're not going to haul that one back and forth. That'll stay up here and do some work around here. It's big enough that it'll, it'll handle it and uh, do some agricultural services you know i could actually get um john and albert you know maybe they could come up here once in a while and do some work so you know it's only about an hour hour and a half drive depending on how fast you drive down back down to rustic acres so it's not like it's uh, very far away let's see i'm going to turn here um i thought i saw the dealership up here a little bit my driving's gotten a little better this afternoon there was a mickey d's i go over a mickey d's chicken cheese sandwich as well Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a dealership. So we'll pull into here, right across from the yarn barn. I kind of like it. Um, oh, there's Mickey D's. Right there. Very nice. I like Mickey D's. That's good use stuff. Anyways, um, let's see. We'll lower that down. Turn this off. Wow, that's a good-looking truck. That that actually ran pretty good. And all the storage it got with it. I mean, I, I could maybe make it into like a little service truck kind of thing, too. You never know. But here's what Diggs down at the store found for me. A case or no an international an old international um forgot the number on it already it is a uh, 1055 xl i got a little loader on it nice stole lower and i got a, a three-point sprayer in a refuge tank to go in the front and then of course i did buy some um, pioneer corn seed and some uh, cortiva uh, fertilizer so i'm going to load that up and then get the tractor on here i gotta load the stuff up first before i um put the uh refuge tank on there so they do have a John Deere telehandler that I could use, but since I got this, I might as well um, just go with it. This is a nice tractor too, by the way. Yeah, this is a nice used tractor. I kind of like this one. 
Um, it, it does a job. It's going to do the job. 135 horsepower on this puppy. So this will this will handle a lot of the whoa the buckets. I better get a um, I better get a back weight for it. Oh crap! I just ran into my refuge tank. Um, you know what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's set that down here. Jeepers creepers. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a weight on here to do um, some pallet. But if I fill, we'll just fill that up. If I fill that up, maybe that'll take some weight off of it. I don't know. Um, let's see. And then let's fill up the refuge tank. Refuse. Uh, refuge. No, refuse. Refuse tank. We'll fill that up. And then I'll put the other pallets on here. Because this is gonna. we're going to do this to do the uh, contract work that we have set up. So that's going to take... Is it going to take all of it? Oh, it's going to leave some. Okay. So that means we still have 2,500 liters of um, fertilizer. So that will work. Let's see. Now I'm going to take... Um, we'll set this back down. This is a nice looking tractor. Sounds awesome too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yep. International. I always wanted an old international. And now I found one. I tell you what, Deeg's down here at the store. He's got... Uh, He's got his act together. I don't know. He's he's not quite as um, as good as Zeke and Streak yet running stores, but um, not too bad though. Not too shabby. Let's see. Can I put these on the? Ah, I got plenty of room. All I'm taking is this tractor, and um, I suppose I should find out. Whoa! Oh, there you go. You're on there. Okay. Apparently, I didn't have it forked real good. I'm a terrible forker. Um, we'll just uh, slide that all the way over. Without puncturing the tank, that would be bad. I'd have fertilizer leaking all over my uh, fifth wheel, my big Tex trailer. We don't want that at all. And um, as I was saying, I got to find out where these contracts are because we could start that. I'm trying to get that done yet today. It, it shouldn't take very long. Uh, matter of fact, let's take a gander here. Let's see, we got uh, 12, 36, 6, and 35. So they're kind of all over, but not bad money. Um, 11, 18, you know, uh, 25,000 bucks. So. That'll that'll go a long way. I that fertilizing contract stuff, man. You can make it. You can make some good money on that. No question. Ooh, careful. No question about that. We'll get this loaded up. Um, the seed. We'll get loaded that up too, and then get the tractor in here. I might have to put some pallets on the uh, flat deck if I'm going to have enough room for all these uh, pallets and the tractor. I gotta get the tractor on here too. Oh, careful. Careful. You know what I could do too. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, that was a close one. Um, I wonder. Let's see. Let's look at the map here. We got 12, 20, 36, 6, and 35. Where are they? 12, 26, 30, and 35? Oh, boy, 12. Ugh. Nothing close here. 26? 26 is right around the corner here. So I could go do a couple of spraying contracts real quick. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Well, let me get the seed loaded up here. And then maybe we'll do that before we head up north. We'll go do a couple. And then get back up north. Like I say, uh, Sophie is going to get into the uh, the tractor and do some more plowing for us. So hopefully that'll be done here sometime later this afternoon. And then we can get the corn in the ground. And like I said, I think we're only going to get that one done. I, I would be, it'd be hard pressed for us to get um, the other grass fields done. So that might be another project because we're, you know, we can't... Uh, we can't focus all our time here. We got uh, big stuff happening um, over there on the Rustic Acres farm and down there at Selmer. So this was supposed to be a little um, a getaway place for Sophie and I, but it's turning into more work than we intended. But you know what? We like we enjoy doing that. Um, you know, you got to find things that you enjoy to do together. That's a big, big plus there. And uh, like I said, you know, it just kind of just fell into our hands here with the, the tragic... Uh, Tilt the world's death by Jethro. So, you know, nobody else wanted it. So we thought, hey, let's let's take it. Let's take it and let's see what we can do out of it. Um, I'm not doing a very good job loading these pallets on here. I, good thing I got some tie down straps because uh, otherwise I think I would lose my load. Nothing worse than losing your load. That and shrinkage. Two things you don't want to have happen losing your load and shrinkage. Oh, flying pallet. Oh, pioneer. Oh, there. Hey. Well, it's on there. What can I say? It's on there. This last one, I think I'm going to put on the deck of the truck. Uh, I might not have enough room on the trailer there. So we'll do that real quick. But anyways, um, taking me longer than I thought it was going to take me. We'll put it on there like this. That'll work. Boy, I spent a lot of money today. 
I tell you, we spent um, we spent a lot of money, and now we're more into debt. You know, I, I keep telling myself I'm going to do these contract works and pay off some debt, but then we get the money and then we end up buying something. I got to quit doing that. Uh, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, 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 careful, careful. Oh, jeepers, creepers, what's going on? Uh, apparently he doesn't like that. Nope. Eey. The pickup doesn't like that. Well, that's not good. We're going to get that fixed. Oh, we'll just stick the seed pallet on top of the other two here. That'll work. Hey, how did your day go? Oh, I just loaded pallets all day. Yeah. Uh, this slide. Oh, yeah, jump right off. There, look at that. Hey, hey, that's a professional uh, pallet loading job there. Let's get the um, straps on here right away. We don't want anything to fall off. Okay, we got that. Now, let's get... Apparently, my settings have got screwed up there because uh, the tractor keeps starting to stop it by itself. Now, let's um, let's take a little tour around... Did I say 26? Because that would be kind of around the edge here. Let's... Um, 26 would be right on the corner. So, we're just going to go down here, follow the corner. Oh, right by the grain elevator, kind of where we came in from. Uh, did I say 26? No, 36. 6, 12, 35, 36. 6, 12, 35, 36. 6, 12, 35, 36. Well, 35 is over here. 35, 36, and 6 and 12. Hey, 6 is right up here. Oh, that's right by our farm there. 6 and 12. Where's 12? 12 is over there. Oh, man. Well, let's go over to 30. Let's go over to 36. That's a nice straight one. So we're going to come down. The, I, I don't know. Uh, that way, that way, that way. <laughs> we'll find our way. Let's see. That is a little mini map. Use a GPS. So we got 1,500 liters of. Um, whoa, look out, buddies. Coming through. Coming through. Beep, beep. There's Mickey the D's. Hey, they have a drive through I could go through the drive through in a tractor. Um. Yeah, here we go. Let's go to the drive-thru. Yeah, I want a uh, McChicken cheese sam McChicken was set with cheese. Okay. Oh, yeah, me. I love McChicken cheese sandwiches. Ooh. I have to reach out the window there a little bit. Uh, wait, that's not a window. You forgot to put it in the window in the drive-thru. Anyways, we'll just... Yeah, okay. You got the point. <laughs> There's no drive-thru window. Eh, well... That's okay. We got it. All right. Let's go. Um, let's see. Now we got to go. Ooh, look at that big area over there. That's kind of nice. We'll go this way. Yeah, there you go. Get the tractor. Loader's kind of in my way there. Oh, I want to go this way. We'll go this way. Cut through here. I wonder what that is over there. I, I got a lot of exploring to do. Oh, hey, water. I got a lot of exploring to do here. Find out where everything is at and kind of get the hang of it. Now we're going to go this way. Oh, stop sign. Let's see. I think I want to go straight, don't I? Uh, straight and then, uh, yeah, straight. Must be an animal dealership over there. I don't know. A lot of sunflowers around here. Look at that. More sunflowers. They like to plant uh, sunflowers up here in the uh, National Forest area. That's uh, not too shabby. That's uh, not too shabby. Ooh. The dead end? Where am I going here? Oh no, cut through here. A little back road, back road driving here. Nothing wrong with that. I like it. Oh, careful. Tree in the way. Then it was nice that this old international even had a GPS unit in it. So, um, that, oh, across the bridge. This is kind of cute. There we go. This must be it right here. Cross the bridge. And right in here. Oh, okay. That was easy enough to find. Let's see. Let's get the sprayer unfolded. Nice. Oh, one at a time. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's uh, see if I can figure out this GPS thing here. Oh, no. We want that. Um, out of width. There we go. 15 meters. So... We'll erase that. Let me make sure that it's working here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll turn that puppy on. No. There we go. Oh, look at that thing go. 
holy fucking, that thing is just awesome. And then we'll hit, uh, that. There we go. We got it to work. Now we can, boy, I tell you what, GPS, now we don't uh, waste all that um, liquid fertilizer and chemical by uh, overlapping so much. So this is going to actually work pretty good. So, I might as well do that. Oh, they got some weed problems in here, too. Maybe they need some, um, oh, my God. Uh, they didn't actually say weeding, did they? No, fertilizing. Yeah, fertilizing. Fertilizing. I think I just wasted some there. I got extra fertilizer in that spot. That's going to be okay. But, um, uh, then I should probably, uh, let's see. I'll probably go around the edge here. I'll make a, a path so I have enough to turn around. That'll work. But, yeah, so that's the rest of the day. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these four spraying contracts. So if he's going to work on the, um, the tillage operation up there on that grass field. And then, um, maybe even get it planted late, late tonight. I don't know. Because we got to head back to Rustic Acres in the morning. Because hopefully the, the rain subsides and we can get that last cotton field planted. That is the goal down there. But, um, hey, a flag flying up there. But otherwise, uh, that's that's all I got. That's all I got from the uh, Mark Twain National Forest. You bet you a beautiful place. I tell you what, Missouri really is a, is a, is a wonderful state. They got all kinds of um, things to do, places to go, people to see. Yeah, and a lovely area up here. Absolutely lovely area. A little hobby farm. I'll be farm. A little getaway farm. Yeah. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Like I say, it's going to be uh, our corn farm. So we'll get some corn planted in the ground. We haven't really talked to the agronomist yet to get a uh, rotation planned out. But um, first year, we're just going to do some corn. That's kind of what we thought we would do. And some sweet corn, too. We're going to have some sweet corn and have a little stand down by the uh, intersection there. And we'll sell some sweet corn. That's a good, that's a good idea. And then we'll get some contract work done here, too. Maybe make a little extra buck. Pay for our new fancy national tractor and our sprayer and our loader. So, yeah, we got all kinds of things going on. Let's, let's turn that off there. Let's uh, just make a nice straight path down here. We gotta go side to side. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We're about right on, right on center. Look at that. That is actually, oh, no, stay there. Um, there. Oh, yeah, perfect. It's gonna work out nice. This is gonna work out nice. But anyways, I'll leave it there for today. Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, if you happen to see my uh, mowing this morning, thank you very much for watching that. I appreciate that. Take the time to comment. Uh, it's always an awesome thing when you do that. And uh, let's see, what is today? Today's Saturday, so no. I actually have to go to work tonight. Sophie and I have to go to work. We are uh, market. Yeah, market. Uh, we do that every once in a while for events in the area. So I got to do that tonight, so I can't do any streaming tonight. But uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be back uh, streaming. Probably on Gamsburg. Maybe Terraformer finally is cooled off now that he can uh, join us again. Or, uh, I don't know, you know what? Um, I'll tell you what, if there is a uh, map that you're interested in seeing, and if we don't have enough people to do the Gamesburg one, um, let me know. And we can uh, we can monkey around with that one too and check things out. So leave that in the comments and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But, anyways, like I said, I've rambled on long enough and I apologize. It's a weekend. You guys got better things to do. Enjoy it, have fun, and as always, keep them. Keep them in the ditches, my friends. So long.